This course I've created on Canva, and as you can see, I'm viewing it as a learner, and it's got activities added on Canva. Let me show you how you create your course on Canva. If you use chatbots like ChatGPT, Gemini, I would suggest that you go to the tool and write a prompt asking the tool to help you draft your course and then take it from there. I did that. I wrote that I'm creating a course for digital products. Can it help me write a short curriculum? And then it helped me write a curriculum for my course. Once you have your Canva open, you're going to go to your project to start creating your course. So you're going to select where it says add new and then you're going to select the course to start creating a brand new course. So you would start by naming your course. And like I've showed you before, if you went to your buddy and your assistant, you probably have the name of your course, copy and paste and adjust as it suits you. So I'm going to go and copy the name of the course and then paste it on here. I've added my course and now I'm going to add a description. So you can make a nice full description or get your assistant to help you chat GPT or whichever tool you're using. You get a thousand characters to do that. And then you can click on save. Now we have our course name and we have our description. Next step is for us to add activities. Activities of our courses are actually lessons. So you can add lessons or activities by clicking on activity and then you can choose the type of lesson that you would like to add. So because this is an intro, I actually would love to have my student welcome to my course. So the first thing I would do is to upload a file because I have a video. So you can choose to create new using the fun, the fun Canva that we're so used to and pick any of these canvases if you want to use them. If you would like to up import from your Google Drive, your OneDrive, you can use that or your Dropbox, or if you want to upload a file. So I want to upload a file of my welcome video that I have created on one of my other courses. I want to go and find it and then upload the introduction video file. Step in, let's take a ride. Learn with our your AI guide. So now it gives me like a note to say that I need to set my experience. There's the activity experience that so it's just telling me how they're going to internet interact with this video file I've added. So to set that, you can click on the drop down for resource. And then you can choose, people can look at this as a template or they can look at as a resource. If I do at some point add a template that I want people to use, I will change it to template in order for them to use it as a template. Based on the ChatGPT curriculum that he's created for me, there's a title of welcoming people to my course material. So I'm going to copy this and go back to the course and create a new welcome. So because I have all of these absolutely amazing tools that Canva gives me, I can go ahead and create like a welcome page or a welcome video, welcome, what, whatever format that you want, maybe a slide presentation, you can decide how you want to welcome everybody. So I'm gonna choose presentation and it's going to give me different templates. You know what? Because it's inside Canva, it's so cool because you get to create using the knowledge of Canva that you already know. So let's create something awesome using some of these templates. Once you're done designing, you, can, you always click where it says module or whatever name you've given it so that it can take you back to the learner management system that Canva has created. And then you can start tweaking things. So this module one that I've created, I want it to be the first lesson. So I'm going to see now, now I can see the menu. Now I want to go back to the learner management system. Therefore, I'm going to 
stick on the back arrow that's going to take me back to the design section of the Canva course itself. So if you're on this page and you're like, what must I do? We usually would share and download. We are going to click and go back to create and sell. So we're going to click go back so that it takes us back to the Canva course creation. So now our module one presentation, I want it to be the first thing that people see. I'll just drag it so that it's the first thing that they see. And then my activities look this way. It's nice every time you add an activity or a lesson, you get an extra one where you can continue adding and adding. So just as a last example, let's say we want a doc, for example. So we're going to go to doc. You know Canva has sheets now. Ne? How cool is that? So if you select a doc and you open up a doc and you pick a template, depends on whatever format that you would like to use, then you would open that. So this one, we're going to say, what are digital products? And we want juicy examples that sell. So what is really, really cool when you're busy designing this course material, you can go ahead and use all the knowledge that you have with Canva using the menu that you're so used to. Press the backslash to access your menu so that it helps you with your creation. So if you want to use Magic Write to help you um, give you more information about digital products and examples, you could ask, you could say, and then you click on generate and then you wait. Cool stuff with every AI, you're going to read through it. You're going to highlight what you want to highlight. You're going to delete what you don't like, and then you're going to use it. Okay. So now you've added your lesson. You've added your quizzes. You're ready to see how it looks like. Then you're going to go back to that view as a learner, just to have a look and see what are your students going to see? Then it shows you the module one that we have clicked on and it shows as completed and marked in green. When they want to go to the next activity, which is a lesson, you're going to click on next or they're going to click on next in order for them to start watching the video and the next lesson that they watch. So they can click on play. Once that's done, they click on the next activity in order for them Welcome to, to finalize the looking Canva. at the course material. So that is how you would create all of these lessons on Canva. So now let's go back to our course material to see how are people going to buy this course from us. You are ready to sell your course to the people out there. You're going to click on assign a course. So the simplest way that I've seen so far online with the Canva way of creating and selling courses is you're going to create a group. So let's call this one digital. And then we have this group of people that are under this digital course material. So if somebody goes to your pay heap and they buy the course, so say you've listed it under pay heap and now you get a sale and you get a notification, you need to come back in here and then add them to the digital course group in order for them to have the course assigned to them. That's the not so nice thing about the Canva process for now, but it is a new thing. So we're thinking Canva will Canva always makes things better for us when time goes on. So if we're getting a lot of people buying courses from us and people are signing and being part of our community, then I think Canva is going to make it better for us. My suggestion would be if you do have a pay hip store or some store that you have digitally, create like an, a welcome letter to the people. So when they buy the course material, summer, even there and there, let them know the turnaround time. So go and create like a PDF that you can share with people to say this is the experience that they're going to have. Now I want to add people to the group. On your left hand side, there's people management may on the menu on the side. I'm going to click where it says group and there's that digital product course group that I've created and I'm only the only person there. So I'm going to click to open it up and then I want to add people here. So I'm going to select add people and start typing the email address. So of the person that has just took the course from me and I'll go edit and then press enter. See, this is very important to take note of. The minute I add people to my group, it says that 
my team has more than five people. That means if I add an additional person, my pricing is going to increase. So be aware that if you are creating courses and you are using the, the pro account, you have five people that you can add, including yourself, that you're going to pay the normal fee. If you start adding more than that, more than five, which usually the fee is $6.99, I think at the moment, the minute I add the sixth person, it increased my account to $8.20 for an additional people. So if I keep on adding people, the bill is going to increase based on the people that are not on my team.